Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I hope everyone had a great weekend, now that it's almost over, unfortunately. I'm back with another DVD update. Had a bunch of pickups this weekend, mostly on Blu-ray, some DVD as well. Thought I'd show them off to you guys, and then you can let me know what you think. So first up, something I watched last night, haven't seen it since it was first released, and that is The Relic on Blu-ray. I got this for $10 at my local Walmart. They're having a big sale right now with uh, all the Halloween movies and horror films for Halloween time. So definitely worth checking out your local Walmart. Uh, good, good monster film. I enjoyed it just as much as I did back when I first watched it. Great setting in this. It takes place in the Chicago Natural History Museum. So it's a nice huge location for a fairly big monster. Uh, the monster looks great too. You know, it's that Jurassic Park style. Not none of the CGI crap that uh, you see in most recent movies. I'm not a big fan of the CGI. I believe there's a time and place for it. You know, when you get a monster this size, as the one in this movie, I think it would just really look out of place. It would look too fake. It really wouldn't be as enjoyable for me. So I'm glad this was done the way it was. Definitely, definitely a good monster film. Definitely worth checking out, especially for the price. Also picked up Street Fighter, the Extreme Edition, on Blu-ray. Haven't seen this movie since it was refreshed since it was first released as well. Uh, I was a big fan of the Sega Genesis video game, specifically Street Fighter 2. I uh, had seen this when it was released, as I said, on uh, VHS, and really wasn't a fan when I was younger. I enjoyed the video game so much that when I watched this, I was, really wasn't blown away. But I also wasn't a big fan of action films when I was younger. It was all about horror films for me. Someone wasn't getting slashed or ripped apart or eaten alive. You know, it just, it just wasn't as entertaining. So I think now that I... I'm older and I have a better appreciation for all types of genres of film. I think I'll definitely, definitely enjoy this. Uh, especially because I'm still familiar with the characters. As I said, I was a huge fan of the video game. So it'll definitely be cool to check that out. I'll be doing that pretty soon. Um, if anybody else has seen this, please let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, let me know how close it is to the video game. If you guys are fans of the video game. You know, I'm just curious to find out. Also picked up The Evil Dead on Blu-ray. This is the limited edition. Been looking for this for the last week or two. Only been finding the uh, just the straight up Evil Dead Blu-ray, not the limited edition version. Uh, that only comes with the Blu-ray disc with, I believe, just an audio commentary. Whereas this one includes a limited edition bonus DVD with a ton of special features. It's probably nothing new than that I already don't have on all the DVD editions of Evil Dead that I own. But I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it says limited edition. It must be fairly limited because I've been looking for it for a little bit now, and uh, this is the only copy I have found so far. So, definitely cool to have that in the collection. Definitely a great addition. Also got Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, unrated director's cut on Blu-ray. You know a lot of people aren't a fan of this film. I am. I think it's very, very entertaining. I like the atmosphere of it. It's a dreamlike feel to it. I really, really enjoy that. Um... As I mentioned in another video, I wasn't blown away by this when I first saw it in theaters, but every time I watch it, it's just one of those movies that I like more and more. So I'm glad to have it on Blu-ray now, kind of complete the Halloween 2 collection for me. Another movie that I haven't watched yet, this is A Perfect Getaway on Blu-ray. I've heard nothing but great things about this, so I uh, thought I'd pick it up while it was only $15 at Walmart. This includes the unrated director's cut as well as the theatrical version. And it also includes the shocking original scripted ending, which is exclusive to Blu-ray. So that'll be pretty cool to check out. It has a pretty uh, interesting ending, nice little twist there, so I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out now that I know the twist is coming. However, I'm sure I'll still enjoy it. As I said, I heard nothing but great things. Let me know what you guys think about it, if you have seen it. Something I watched on Friday, Frozen on Blu-ray. I was absolutely blown away by this film. It is absolutely one of the most terrifying movies I have ever seen. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't scare easy, you know, I wasn't sitting there with my, you know, my fingers in my mouth biting my nails. However, uh, <laughs> I, w I was at the edge of my seat. I mean, this was an intense, intense movie. I, I was really, really so, su so surprised with it. It's the same director as Hatchet, Adam Green. Awesome, awesome film. I mean, I can't say enough about this movie. If I recommend any movie that I've seen in the last six months or so, this is it. Um, see this movie. Definitely check it out. I got this for $9.99 at Best Buy. So worth it. It's uh, only on sale for a limited time. I know it's regular $24.99 is what the, the sticker actually said on it. 
but uh, I believe they do have the DVD version at Walmart right now for $10 as well, so either way, pick up a copy of this movie. It is so intense, it is so creepy, it's so real. I mean, if, if you're a skier, I would definitely recommend seeing it, if, if you like being scared. Um, me, on the other hand, you know, I'm not a big skier, but either way, I will never, ever go skiing again because of this movie. I just, it really, really blew me away. I, I really, really enjoyed it. Also got The Human Centipede, another movie I've heard great things about. Um, really didn't even know too much about it. I just had read a lot of comments online and uh, spoken to a few people that have seen it that can't say enough about how disgusting it is and how sick and how twisted. So, sounds like my kind of film. Definitely got to check it out. Um, let me know what you guys think if you've seen this, as all these other movies, you know, I, I feel like a broken record telling you guys to let me know what you think, but, you know, I really am interested in your opinion, so, uh, leave me some comments below. Getting into the DVDs now. I picked up the Leprechaun 3 movie pack. Leprechaun, Leprechaun 2, and Leprechaun 3. I've been wanting to get these movies for some time now. I've been going back and forth with getting this, or getting the box set with all six films. And then I walked into Walmart and they had this as well as the other three films, uh, Leprechaun in Space, Leprechaun in the Hood, and Leprechaun Back to the Hood, um, in a pack just like this. Had both three packs in my hand, and it ended up putting the other one back, realizing I'm not even that much of a fan of the last three films in the series, so these are the ones that I enjoy, the first three. Haven't watched two and three in a long, long time. It's been years since I've seen them, so I'm definitely interested in, interested in checking them out again. Finally, something I am so, so excited about. I picked this up for $5 at Walmart. This is the Midnight, uh, the Midnight Horror Collection. You know, ignore the other three films. There's four films on this, on this disc. And I haven't watched any of the other three yet, so I, I really can't say anything bad about them. So I'm not insulting them in any way, but ignore them right now because this is the important part right here, Curtains. This includes the 1983 slasher film Curtains. I have been wanting this movie for so long. There has been no DVD release in, in the U.S. anyway, and I had been wanting to see this movie. I remember seeing this when I was younger, and the mask just freaking me out so much. And finally got around to watching it this morning. I've been wanting to watch it all weekend. I was so excited about it. Watched it this morning with my son. We both thought it was great. I mean, you know, it's, don't get me wrong, it's still an 80s slasher film, so, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of draggy in parts and slow. But, uh, you know, my son's seven years old, and he sat there through it and still really, really enjoyed the film. So, there's no reason why anyone else can't. I mean, just for the mask alone that the killer wears in this film, it is so worth it. Uh, as I said, this was only $5 at Walmart and includes four films. I mean, I would pay $5 plus just for curtains. Um, now, about the picture quality, you know, it's a double-sided disc. There's two movies on each side. The picture quality isn't great. You know, the, I mean, it, it's shaky in areas. It's very, very dark in areas. I mean, there's, like, strange sounds every now and then. However, I'm going to say this, and, uh, you know, I don't want to get criticized for this. Don't get me wrong, I love Blu-ray. I absolutely love a crystal clear picture on my HD TV. But, when it comes to some old horror films, I really, really don't mind seeing them grainy and that old look to them. Because you know why? When I was younger and growing up watching them on VHS, that's how they looked to me. So that's how I remember them. So it kind of just adds to the experience. But... Anyway, that's just my opinion. I'm sure a lot of people won't agree with me. I'm sure some might. You know, some of you might be sitting there saying, huh, that's a good point. I hope you are. Because, you know, I feel pretty strongly about it. But anyway, I mean, if you guys can track this down, just for curtains alone, that's absolutely amazing to me. I just, I couldn't believe it. I was literally just walking down the aisle and just checking out what they had in the $5 section. And I'm looking and I see it says curtains. And I was like, it's got to be a remake or just a, a different movie with the same title. Then I saw the stars, Samantha Egger, who plays in it, and I was like, oh my god, that is the 1980s movie. That is This is the movie I've been wanting for so long, and I just immediately grabbed it. Could not wait to watch it. So, so worth it. So, so worth the price. But uh, that's it for now, guys. Let me know what you guys think of everything I've showed you. I'll be back again, as always, with another DVD update soon. I'm sure you guys know me by now. Uh, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it, as I always say. Thanks a lot, guys.